What's up, Facebook? Look, man, what you bring into your your electromagnetic field, you subconsciously manifest into your life. What do I mean? Look at not just the people you got in your life, right? Look at the activities that you do. Look at the, the, the TV shows, the types of movies that you're interested in, the music you listen to, um, if you're a reader, the types of books you read. And that's the energy that you bring into your world. That's what you manifest into your life. And we gotta be more mindful of this because we've been taught that it doesn't matter. You can think and be and feel and watch and listen to whatever you want. And there's no consequences in front of foot. But let's not even think about it like consequences because most times when people see consequence, they see, they see punishment. You being able to manifest a great relationship because all you do is watch movies that are about great relationships is a consequence of your actions. So it's a good thing, right? You working hard to accomplish a goal and you reach your goal, that's a consequence of your actions. It's a consequence of the seed that you implanted in your mind. It's a consequence of the nourishment that you gave that seed, right? Even when it didn't seem like it was gonna be feasible, you kept working towards it. Those are consequences just the same. So you gotta be mindful of the consequences and how they were manifested and brought to you in the first place. Did you do it or did an outside entity do it for you? And that outside entity could be the social media, it can be the media, uh, of all sorts. And media is also a newspaper and also a book. Um, hell, media is also talking to your people, your closest friends and your work associates. You jump stranger on a, on, on a bus stop or on an elevator with you. That's all media as well. It's transformation of information, right? So we gotta be more mindful of the transformation of information that we bring into our lives and what we do with it what we sleep on, what we think about through our day. And that, that was just, you know, something that I had on my heart, man. Your eyes, your ears, your sense of smell, your sense of taste, your sense of touch. Those five senses are the opening keys to your, to your soul in this reality that we live in. So be mindful of what you bring into your physical being, your physical space. Your brain is gonna process your physical reality, but your mind is gonna process your subconscious celestial reality. So you, let's, let's be more mindful, people. I love y'all. Peace, love, wellness, peace, love, truth, honesty, and be just with the people that you're around. I love y'all. Peace.